Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, in today's video we're going to be looking at a couple of books. We're going to um, look at uh, a comment that in, in one of my videos and respond to that as a you know, problem to be solved. And then finally, if you are at your wit's end and you've exhausted all your resources, what information should I provide you know, in order to get the help that I'm looking for? So, um, if you're a beginner, this would be hopefully be something useful to you. But if you're also an experienced programmer, then you can tell me either a what I've gotten wrong, or b um, you could agree, you know, in terms of you know helping people um, people in the information that would be helpful to solve their problems. So the best place to start might be to have a look at the forums. And if you are unfamiliar with the uh, forums, this is one place where you've got a whole community of users who all talk about the one subject. And here we're looking at Lazarus, you know, slash Free Pascal. And it has a number of different uh, sections you can look into. Um, it has a search functionality. But before you maybe, you know, go into a forum, one of the uh, first places to look might be in a the reason why I'm picking this book, even though it is a bit old, is that the information which would be contained in the first couple of chapters has, you know, um, good information I'll say in it. Um, the, let's say, chapters two onwards all relate to data structures, but, you know, useful to look at if you will want to get into the nuts and bolts of um, how implementations of, let's say, trees or graphs or linked lists work. Um, but having said that, you know, some of that would be um, superseded by now the use of generics and containers uh, within the, your programming language, you know, so whether you are using Delphi or Free Pascal. First of all, it talks about, you know, here, what is an algorithm? It does go into a little bit of analysis here as well, go into a little bit of, you know, I'm going to say stuff relating to performance and it's not so much just that part there but also the um, whether or not you should be using const uh, is something that you could test yourself but then it also goes into debugging and things to remember like you know that um, code we write will always contain bugs so it means that don't be afraid of having code or don't be embarrassed if your code does have bugs because it's just you know um, the nature of programming we are human then talks about using assertions um, and if you don't have an assert function remembering the time this was written then you could you know use this particular function here and to use them early and to use them often um, also talks about, you know, then logging, about commenting your code, um, using tracing and unit testing. Now, I had done a video previously on unit testing, and while the information in here will be related to Delphi and talks about using DUnit, there are also uh, testing frameworks which are available in, you know, Free Pascal, which can be used to enable you to, you know, test and check your code. Um, and it does say here in rule six to use a framework to build up a set of unit tests. So when you do change your uh, code, you can then run your unit tests and make sure things are going well. And then when it comes to debugging, you know, there are, are rules about that as well. Before we get into the nitty gritty of starting with an array and um, inserting and stuff like that. So this is what's available in the preview. You've got the chapter one, I think, chapters one and two, maybe. Um, but like I said, this is a good text. And for me here in Australia, I th well, actually, this is the US price, I think. Anyway, $10, you know, we'll say for that particular text there. The other one, though, which I am um, which I think is a good text, which you can get for, uh, for nothing, because you can get it off the um, Marco's website, and I think I've got a link for it here. Um, if you go to that, go to marcocantu.com slash epascal, 
then you can get um, this book here. Again, it's an older one, um, but it does cover um, everything which would be useful for someone beginning program. And a lot of the stuff here would be contained in, say, um, the Object Pascal user guide. This one here, you know, covers everything that you might be interested in when you are starting out programming. Um, the one thing though that I would say is that if you are in a using Lazarus and Free Pascal, um, just note that the uh, dot in the images here, the screenshots will be coming from Delphi, but it is not hard to find, you know, to be able to do the equivalent code wise, call it, let's say a, a, um, a little bit of a challenge, if you will, to um, work out, you know, to make the code work for you in Lazarus. Uh, but like I said, it does go through everything you'd need, you'd want to know as a beginner programmer, or if you are coming from another language, such ordinals, you know, etc. Um, now here we're going into, you know, a little thing about you can work out how big the certain types are here as a program. Um, some stuff that's particular to Windows, uh, and then, like I said, we are now going into things which are now, um, let's say, call them features of Pascal because they may not be in every other language where we are talking about, you know, enumerated types, etc. So I would recommend if you don't have, if you do want to uh, learn how to program in Pascal, uh, or in or free Pascal, or if you are using Delphi, this is a good text to have, you know at your ready. So if you downloaded, let's say, whether you've downloaded, let's say Delphi or NISC or Free Pascal, the, um, the, you're going to get a bunch of manuals. Now when it comes to Free Pascal, you might have to download those separately. The manuals, though, if you do want to, you know, get them, you can go to this particular link here, which is freepascal.org slash docs dot var oh we're already there okay so if we're on this page here then you can get them in a few different formats i think there are other formats available but on this page here you can get them in pdf and html so if you are looking at html for instance then you are and we'll just look at let's go to the fcl because this is the one i'm going to look at as a pdf document Ooh, let's go up to the index maybe. Nope, I don't like that one much at all. Let's find another book, shall we? Let's go to the user guide here. So here we've got a particular text. Note that we are looking at 3.2.2, so if you are looking at a feature coming after that, then you'd have to look elsewhere. Um, so here we're looking at the contents, and let's say we were looking at, let's say, starting the IDE. We go to that page there. We can't go anywhere else. So if we are searching for information, we're going to maybe struggle a little tiny bit. If you were to then use the PDF version, and we'll go here. You've always obviously, hang on, that's not that one. Let me go into where I have my documentation. So I've got all these ones. I have these ones downloaded myself. Um, We'll open up that one, say, um, this is the runtime library, and we will go to the FCL one because we will be using that a little later. If you're, but if you are searching for something, you can actually search the whole document, obviously, and, you know, find, hopefully find what you're looking for. My preference would be to be using the PDF versions over the HTML, but, you know, like I said, each to their own. You know, and it does go through all of the different properties, you know, let's say in hit in. Um, what I would say, though, is that, you know, some information about later um, additions to the uh, free Pascal environment, such as whether you're looking at maybe multi-line strings for for instance, or uh, anonymous functions, then you know your best place to look at those would be on the Free Pascal website and looking in the announcements section here. I think we've covered the two books of interest. So basically, the first book was the uh, Tomes of Delphi, 
and the second one was um, Essential Pascal there. So, like I said, in terms of um, Delphi was one that needed to be purchased. Uh, so if we now move on to, um, let's find this comment here that was interested in. So we'll go into my community page here. Um, anyway, and I'll read out the comment here. that I can't debug a t-string grid. t-string grid dot record count, you know, doesn't appear in the debugger field. Do you have an issue? So my first thought was, well, okay, he's talking about using a, um, a string grid, talking about a record count, so mm, I'm not quite sure what he's, you know, what exactly is happening. So if we go back into our um, program here, and let's go into Lazarus, then we'll just start a new project just for the sake of um, simplicity here. Hit the OK button. Yes, we will save those changes. Uh, function key and 12. So we're just going to drop a string grid onto our onto a form here, and let's just go into the form create. Because for me, a string, you know, I'm not aware that a string grid has this property or method, so. Um, I'm just going to go here and then into here and let's go. Um, so we, this is shows me all the things which are accessible here. Um, and I don't see anything that looks like a record type. So maybe I've got something wrong, you know, let's say in my either in my understanding or I've got the wrong version. It's possible. Anything's possible here. And again, I don't have much other information to work from. We could even, let's say, go into the code here uh, to see what is in here. And we could, you know, go you know, into a custom string grid. And by the way, if you are a beginner and you do want to, you know, traverse through the code, all you have to do is to um, control key down, um, put your mouse on to the uh, thing you want to drill into, and then left click away, and it takes you there. So. Um, control or left click on the class or the type or the function etc and it will take you to the um, definition or implementation thereof so anyway so I can't find it let's say in my code so the next place then I could look then would be to go into my documentation here and we will now do a search for uh, let's make that window a bit bigger Um, and we're going to go for record count. We'll just wait patiently to have a sip of coffee. You know. <clears throat> so the one document of interest here will be the um, FCL, um, which is the one we've got open over here. The other one is the other documents are just XML documents, you know, to do with a database again. So if we go, we'll close that one down. And uh, let's go back into, sorry, let's go back into our documentation here. And we'll open up this particular document. And now let's, I'm hoping this is quite readable for you. So now we're going to go for a uh, control F here and we're going to look for record count okay it's to do with a data set um, there it's a data set data set okay all to do with the data set record count not a string grid How can we make it easier for someone like, let's say myself, if I wanted to provide you with assistance, what information do you want to be able to, or what information should you provide them <coughs> um, to make, let's say, life easier to, uh, you want someone to help. And if you were to put something into the forums where you are looking for help. Well, to me, there are, um, I've got, four things you know that I would be looking for 
One would be, and let's say a little snippet of code. The second, and by the way, if you are looking at a snippet of code, be it a complete unit or a complete function, or even if it was just part of a function, then I'd want to be able to see the declarations thereof. I would want to be able to know what the exact error is, uh, not a translation thereof. So if it's something which is like a dialogue, you know, that you, uh, that's not your own code, you know, then you could always include a screenshot. But if you've got the, if it's at runtime, then a screenshot, you know, can be helpful there. Um, if it's a compile type, com compile time error, then the exact error message. So if we are getting an, a problem with our program, so let's just go back to my other program here that we were looking at. And why don't we um, have a, yeah, well, let's have a compile time error here. So we're going to try to assign a number, an integer to a string here. So if we now build this one here and we get an error and it says that you can always right mouse click copy copy the selected message to the clipboard so that's been now copied and I'm just going to paste it up here just to show you and you've got the exact error message so you can paste an error message into a form quite easily if it is a compile time type error um, and then also, regardless of whether it was a um, um, a compile time or a run type or a runtime type error, what did you expect to happen? Like now, if we do go into, let's see whether we can find something like this error here in the manuals. enough it actually is in the user document this time so we do get an incompatible type got you know arg1 expected arg2 there's an explanation of the you know what it is won't tell you how to fix it but you know hey not my problem right now so it won't tell you necessarily how to fix it but you know you've got the right idea there so the manuals do come with a lot of information which you know in the olden days, like I said, you might have a set of books on your, you know, next to you, your computer. I know I did. Uh, these days, they're electronic, so um, try to have those available at your ready in case you need them. So maybe what we could do is uh, make a little series of this where you could uh, submit a problem. If you don't mind me reading out an e your email, perhaps, and what your problem is. Um, we could do it within a video. Uh, we could talk about the problem and the solution. Obviously, I'm not going to write your whole program for you, but you know you can uh, find me, put in a comment in a video, um, or you, you know, on on YouTube, on my on my channel that has the comment, or you could send it to me as an email. Um, you can find my details in the uh, in my profile on YouTube. Uh, or you can find me on the forums um, quite easily as well. Um, so I'll leave that open to you. Let me know what you think about that. I, let me know what you think about that. Um, but that's just about it for this video, I'm going to say. Like I said, we've got a couple of books, you know, that's worthwhile looking at. And they were the Tomes of Delphi and Essential Pascal. Um, and... Don't forget, happy coding, and I will see you in the next video, and until then, bye.